So let's start to explore how we can use a reverse VLOOKUP in Excel. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we have here a table with data. You can see here all these different industries and the companies related to it. So what we want to do here is use basically a combination function. And that will be based on first the selected company we have here. So well, let's get one of these companies. Let's say I want to get Nestle. Nestle. So what I want to do now is I want to get the matching category or industry, which is in this case, the fast moving consumer goods. So how do I do this? Well, let's use the index function for that. And the index function can extract immediately the item. And of course, we're going to combine it later on with the match functionality. So we're going to select one of these index. All right, oh, just ignore that one, just click here on that. And then we open up here our formula tab. All right, so now we have the formula tab or builder open. So the first thing it will ask is what is the array of data? And in this case, the array of data is just a table here. And this table will be now the leading point for us. The next thing what I want to do here is where is the matching row number? In this case, because our table starts at number two, so this is the first row. And our selected value for the company was Nestle. So it is on the second row of this table. So I'm going to say here number two. And then we can say here the column. And in this case for the column, I'm going to say column one because I want to grab the data here. So if I do this, you can already see here the category fast moving consumer goods. Let's do that. Press done to confirm. Let's click this away. There we are. If I would change this to, for example, Walmart, we should get here. Of course, not yet, I realize, because we're still missing a value. So if you want to have Walmart, it means that we need to go down to row number four, which is the row number here. And then we compare, say done, and then we get retail. So to solve this, we have to soft code the row number. And for that, we can use the match function. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to say a match. And then in the match, we're going to add up specific values. Well, let's put in here the value. So the first thing is, what is the value we're looking for? In this case, I'm looking for the company name Walmart. Once I have this, I'm going to put a comma in and I'm going to select where in which column will I find this item or this Walmart company. In this case, it will be in this column here, which is the B column. I'm going to select this from B2 all the way to B7 to select that specific column. Once I did that, I put another comma and then I can select here zero or one. In this case, I want the value of zero because I want to have an exact match. You could have also another Walmart industries or Starbucks industries, something like that. So I don't want it. I want the exact match of the company we selected. So I say here zero closing uh, parenthesis and then enter. So once I did that, we have now a soft coded version here. So let's confirm this by saying now this will be Unilever. If I press here, enter, you can see here this moves and then let's try another one, Coca-Cola. We get beverages and then final one, Starbucks. We get again beverages and it is working nicely.